Hello everyone, I'm Karen from Sew and Save. Welcome to Creating with Karen. I'm here at the Paterosa in my sewing studio today working on some projects that are very close to my heart. We are going to be doing a series of projects what I'm calling the Ukrainian project. We will be having kits available and 25% of each, the sale of each kit will go to help Ukrainian refugees. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about those other projects at the end of the video. Today we're going to be working on our sunflower block. Of course, you know, the sunflower is the Ukrainian um, national flower. So I thought it would be really nice that if, if we made a sunflower in the window mini quilt. So the sunflower you can hang in your window or on your door to help so show your support for the Ukrainian people. So as this video goes on, I'm going to tell you how to put this project together and how to quilt it up. On your pattern, when you open up your pattern, there will be a little QR code. That QR code will direct you right back to this video so that you can sew along with me as you're making your kit. Don't know how to use a QR code? Ask your kids or grandkids. They know how to do it. They'd be happy to show you. It's super simple. If you have a, if you have a cell phone, you can do it. So we will also put a link on the um, pattern by the QR code as well, just in case the kids aren't around and you want to get started. So we'll have a link to our video on YouTube to show you how to do this project. So let's get started. All right, you are ready to start sewing your Sunflower in the Window mini quilt together. You've opened up your package and you've laid out all your fabrics and you're like, oh my gosh, what goes where, what is what? So let's go over what is in your kit. These here are fabric one. The green is fabric two. The little thatched gold fabric is um, fabrics three and four. Your little cute little prim um, gingham check is fabric five. And your center, the little sunflowers, is fabric six. And then also in fabric number four, you have your, or fabric number five, you have your binding. So this is your binding. You're just going to set that aside. You're not going to use for a little while. So first of all, let's go through fabric one. You've got all kinds of different pieces and you want to make sure you cut the right things out of the right piece of fabric. So you've got this first big long piece of fabric. This is for your three and a half inch squares. The next fabric that you have is for your two inch squares. So this little strip here is enough to cut your two inch squares. Then you'll have this strip here. This will cut your three and, yeah, sorry, three and seven eighths inch um, squares. Cut that out of here. You have your four and a quarter inch square. I think they cut these at four and a half, so you just want to double check and make sure that you can square this up nice to four and a quarter. And then these two little strips that are all together here, so this is kind of your outer border. So that's, that's your color number one. You have two pieces for color number two. This will cut your three and a half by half inch rectangles. And then this one will cut your two inch squares. Out of the gold thatched, you'll use this long strip to cut your three and a half inch squares. And then this, is, this little thatched square is your four and a quarter inch square. So again, make sure that you've um, squared this up. I think they cut them at four and a half, just so you can square them up nice. This little strip, is used to cut your two inch squares. Then you have your little four and a half inch for block. And now to go and cut all pieces. So let's go cut them all and come back and I'll to lay everything out and sew it all together. See you in a minute. All right, let me tell you all the pieces that you need to cut. You know which pieces you're gonna cut out of. Now let me tell you what you need to cut. The first thing you're gonna cut out of your background are your three and a half inch squares. Then you'll cut your two inch squares. After that, you're going to cut a couple of three and seven eighths inch squares and you're going to cut them in half once diagonally. Then you'll take your four and a quarter inch square and cut that in half diagonally on both directions. Okay, that's what you need to do for the background. 
Then you're going to cut your green. You're going to have your three and a half by six and a half inch rectangles and your little two inch squares. That's it for number two. On to number three and four, you'll have three and a half inch squares and then you'll take a four and a quarter inch square, four and a quarter inch square, and cut that in half diagonally twice. Okay, then what have we got left? Oh, two inch squares out of your cute little gingham check and a three and a half inch square for your center. Then you're also gonna have already pre-cut for you and ready to go your cute little gingham binding and your outer border at one and a half. So now I'm gonna show you how to put it all together. That didn't take long to cut out, did it? Excellent. Now you're ready to sew your blocks together. First thing you're gonna do is take those triangles that you had four of, you had that one block and you cut it in half diagonally twice. You're gonna use those first and then you're gonna use your other background block that you cut into half diagonally once and you're gonna put those together. So first you'll sew the two smaller triangles together, press toward the gold fabric, then sew the two triangles together and you end up with a block that looks like this. I then press that little seam down toward the um, white triangle, okay? So you're gonna end up with four of these. Pretty simple, you can do it. Now you're going to make this little block. You're gonna take the three and a half inch little thatched gold fabric and put a green square on one corner and a cream square on the other corner. Draw your lines diagonally through those two small squares, stitch on the line, and then trim a quarter of an inch from each stitching line, okay? Then you'll press, and when you press, you will again press toward your outside little triangles, just like this. You're gonna make four of these. Easy peasy, you can do it. I'm gonna take these off, and I'm gonna take these off too, because we need the whole board for the next couple pieces. The next thing you're going to do is take um, the last four of your little thatched pieces, and you're gonna put a square on the corner, your little gingham check square with a line drawn diagonally through, stitch on that line, oops, and trim, a quarter of an inch from your stitching line. You will then press that up, and again, you're going to press toward that little outside corner. And you'll have something that looks like this. You're gonna make four of these again. So you've got this little guy. Then you're gonna take another one of your little gingham gold squares, draw a line dot through diagonally, and set that into the other corner right next to it. Stitch on that line, trim a quarter of an inch away, and press toward the corner, and you're going to end up with four blocks that look just like that. Cute, aren't they so cute? Then you have one more block to make, and then you're ready to sew everything together. That was quick and easy, wasn't it? All right, we're, I'll take these off so I can work closer. You're gonna take your green rectangle, this is your leaf, and you're going to set, I want to make sure I have my little guys going in the right direction here. Hang on. Here we go. Yep. This is going to go up into this corner. Yep. Make sure. Yep. We got it right. This is going to go up on the top like that, and your diagonal is going to go this direction. Then you're going to put your other little background square in the opposing corner. And that's gonna go the same direction as the other um, angle did, uh, the other diagonal angle on your large square. So both of these go the same direction. Don't put it go in the other direction, it won't be right. So you're going to, again, stitch right on the lines that you drew, cut a quarter of an inch away, press toward your white background pieces, and you're ready 
to stitch the whole thing together. So go do this and then I'll show you how to stitch everything together and make your block. Have fun and I'll see you in, oh, a minute or two. Right. You have all your blocks sewn together. Now we're ready to put some of them together and make it into the sunflower. So you've got one of these little guys for your center. You've got four of these left that you didn't do anything with. You've got four of these, four of these guys, four and four. So you're going to take your long green leaf piece and put it together with these two squares. So sew these two together and then this to this. You're gonna make four of these. Then you're going to take these two guys and sew them together. Um, you're gonna end up with four of those and then we're gonna put the whole block together. So go back and sew all those together and I'll see you in a minute. Are you having fun with this block? I hope you are, I am, and it's going together. For me, it's going together beautifully and I hope it's going together well for you. So let's look at what we've got put together now. Now we have three rows. Here's that one block that you sew together, then your small center block, and then your other big corner blocks. So I have, if you look at these, you can see that this block is turned as you go along and put those on. Picture in the instructions and orient that block correctly so that your leaves kind of flow off into the corners of your block. You'll sew this block together with the center and then another block. You'll sew this one to your middle block and then over and then kind of repeat what you did up here down. Here. Then again, watch how your leaves kind of go off into that corner and sew those together. Now all I have to do is sew these three rows together. I'll take my little strips and sew those around the outside and I'll be ready to quilt. It will be so much fun to quilt this project. I'm going to kind of do some mirroring in the center of these and stipple around the outside. So I'll come back and show you what my project looks like when it's all done. So have fun with this and I'll see you soon. Well, you have the top for your project all sewn together. Now it's time to quilt it up. I did some very simple quilting on mine, as you can see. When I quilted my project, I stitched in the ditch around all of the pieces. And then I did kind of a shadow or a mirror around each of the petals and the leaves. Pretty simple. I think you can do it. I put the side of my presser foot along the seam and put it at and put my needle at about a quarter of an inch and just stitched all around those. In the center, I kind of did a little X and then a cross and then kind of a diamond in the center of that. Then I stippled around the whole outside. You don't have to stipple if you don't want to. I know people kind of some people will say, oh, I can't do that. So you could do the same thing on the on the background as you did inside. You could do a little mirror going around. You could do some little diamond stitching or some crosshatch stitching on the back. Whatever makes you comfortable, whatever makes you feel good. Do that. And then you're simply going to bind it and you'll be set and ready to go. We really appreciate the fact that you have purchased this kit and in doing so helping the Ukrainian refugees in, in the process. So, and showing your support for them as well. Don't forget that the um, QR code on your pattern will always take you right back to this video. And all you have to do is point your camera at it and push the button and you're good to, and it'll take you right to our video. So if you can't do that, can't find your phone, <laughs> that's okay. Um, the, the, there's a link right on the bottom of the pattern that will also take you to our YouTube video on this project. Our second project in the series, and we'll have a few more as we go along, is um, a little carrot table topper. Isn't this cute? It's just adorable. So simple to do. You, yes, you can do it in an afternoon. You can, <laughs> honestly. Um, this pattern is from a Ukrainian um, quilter. 
And in our next video, I'll tell you more about her and we're going to directly help her family and in as well as Ukrainian refugees when you purchase a kit. So please watch our next video and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.